Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we have another protest near the government against these COVID, uh, anti-COVID measures. This time these are people who work in music industry and they protest because they practically can't work and they are not compensated at all and uh, they are in trouble. Yeah, so they have uh, there some demands to the government. We are in trouble as well, tourism in trouble, but in this video well, I will show you a little bit of that protest and I will um, share with you with the latest updates on the rules how to visit Ukraine in September. And this video is not very informative, really. It's more like my thoughts. I share with you what I know, what I think about that situation. The bad news is that the government did not reopen the borders of uh, Ukraine. They are still shut down. Uh, still very few categories of foreigners can enter the country, can cross the border. Uh, it doesn't matter are you coming from red or, or green country, the color doesn't uh, matter anymore. And uh, these categories of the people who can come, they are relatives of the first line coming um, to Ukraine. And uh, they are as well people who have permanent res residence uh, permit. You have the full list of categories of people uh, who can enter. So how it all started? Last week on Wednesday, the government had a meeting. The government is that building over there. Uh, yeah, they had a meeting and they decided that uh, that they will shut down the borders. Yeah, unexpectedly, nobody expected it. Everybody had some bookings, plans, and so on. They just uh, decided on Wednesday. On the next day, on Thursday, they published the document late in the evening. And on Friday, the borders were already shut down and uh, everybody was very surprised. So uh, we were as well as guides and other people who work in tourism. And on Friday, we had a protest uh, and we asked to the government here yeah, to open back the borders and we passed to the document with these demands to the government uh, but um, there was no immediate reaction that's okay yeah the next uh, meeting of the government was yesterday yeah and yesterday they didn't change anything almost anything they did not reopen the borders but what they did uh, they made it even worse, they closed it even more. So what exactly, um, when they decided to shut down the borders, uh, there was one of the categories of people who could cross the border and enter Ukraine. These were foreigners who are coming to Kiev, uh, to Ukraine for transit flight. Yeah, they could stay in um, here for two days maximum. According to the media, the government yesterday decided that that position should be cancelled because there were people who misused that position uh, uh, just to enter Ukraine and stay here for longer. And according to the media, these people were Hasids, uh, people who uh, like each, each September we have a religious holiday in Uman, small town. Uh, where there is a tomb of a person who is like a sa sacred leader, spiritual leader of these people, of Hasidism. Yeah, and each September they have like a New Year celebration, religious holiday, they are coming, it's very important for them, and I respect that. Yeah, but they say the government uh, uh, decided that uh, it's not easy to control these people and it's not po politically correct uh, to ban only these people. Or I don't know, they say maybe, maybe some... <coughs> <coughs> Some other government gave the bribes to the Ukrainian government yeah, uh, to prevent, yeah, to close the borders, uh, to save their countries from Ukrainian COVID. Well, these are rumors that we have. Yeah, but this, that, the media say that these people, they were coming to, for example, Zhulyane airport in Kiev. They were showing that they have a transit flight from another airport, Borispil, that is situated in another part of uh, Kiev. So they were allowed to cross the border and enter Ukraine. But when they stepped on Ukrainian soil, uh, immediately they didn't like travel to Borispil airport. They traveled to Uman. Yeah, just they violated uh, the rules. Yeah, and they just went to that religious uh, festival because that is very important for them. 
So the government decided that no more. And for me, it's a very big shame because once again, like um, two days ago, a lady was asking me, is it possible to enter Ukraine just for one day? Because she, her friends basically crashed uh, in a car accident and she wanted to visit his family and his uh, grave. And I said, well, if it's one day, you have that option, this transit flight. So maybe you can use that. And uh, well, and the, on the, the same day in the evening, yeah, we found out that that option is not available anymore. So that was another surprise. Well, something like this. Uh, I keep saying that uh, that decision to shut the borders, it uh, will not, it's not because of uh, us, of Ukrainians. It's not to save people because uh, we will kill us ourselves. Yeah, we will spread COVID ourselves. Nobody will bring it to us. Uh, people here uh, don't have security mentality. Yeah, it, it's never, it was never here. So people uh, kind of uh, follow the rule because the government told them. So uh, in the uh, metro, for example, they put on the mask, but it doesn't cover the nose. It covers only the mouth. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't make big sense. Uh, as well, uh, the schools are reopened and kindergartens um, work. So my girl, my daughter Katya, she went to school on the 1st of September uh, and my boy w went to the kindergarten. Uh, and you know, they, uh, they don't wear the masks yeah, and the children are contacting between themselves. And then they come home, yeah, contacting with parents. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, if you ask me, will the government reopen the borders in the end of September? Yeah, after that de decision will be, uh, that ban will be over. Uh, I don't know, of course, because nobody knows. Uh, but for sure, COVID will become worse. Uh, by the way, we are in the park, not far away from the government. And here we have some military uh, machines, vehicles maybe ready to disperse a crowd of protesters yeah who knows yeah because here we have the residence uh, uh, the palace Marinsky palace where the president has some official meetings and recently by the way it was reopened for uh, visits for tourists yeah but no tourists here yeah so what is gonna happen when this um, the temba is over yeah can you come in October then uh, nobody knows that decision of the government was unexpected so the next decision will not be uh, expected as well it will be uh, hard to predict really okay but uh, I doubt that they will I will be honest with you yeah I doubt that they will reopen uh, or maybe if if they even reopen most probably in November we will have the second wave of uh, COVID that is what I personally think why um yes take my children take my children each uh october and on november they get ill yeah the whole summer yeah running around naked no flu no high temperature everything is fine traditionally october november is the time when they start coughing uh nose is sneezing and so on because that is the time when it's getting colder yeah autumn is coming uh, and the children and adults, they are mm, getting sick. And you see, as here in Ukraine, like on the paper, we are allowed to go home and uh, being treated for free, of course, when we are ill. But in fact, that means that uh, you will be fired or you will not have any income and people are already in big trouble. So I think they will go uh, to work, uh, even if they have symptoms of respiratory diseases and they will give pills to children if they have high temperature and bring them to school uh, because they have to go to work you know people kind of forced uh, uh, in the circumstances um, that are very tough uh, it will not be easy to uh, to follow the rules yeah and stay home when you need I'm not talking about everyone, yeah, but that will be the widespread situation. So anyway, October, November, respiratory diseases are spread more, uh, especially schools, kindergartens. So as they work, that will be spread and so on. So we, I think we will have the second wave of uh, disease in October, November, and probably, probably the bodies will not be reopened. Uh, but who knows? Yeah, maybe, maybe we will 
people hope that that they will. Uh, I believe that people who uh, had to cancel their visit to Ukraine in September because of that sudden ban, uh, they will not come anymore. And I think they are not watching that video because they don't need it. Uh, if you are watching that video, that means you still want or uh, you still need to come here. Uh, so I will uh, hope for you. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. And I want to tell you that we will have another protest uh, soon. Uh, we will demand to reopen the borders anyway. And uh, uh, like it looks like the leader of that movement is uh, Anton Teranenko, who uh, made this website, you know, visit Ukraine today. So he was trying hard to make it possible for you guys to come to Ukraine and his work was uh, flush into the toilet so was mine yeah when I made that YouTube video to make it easier for you to come yeah so I will be protesting as well and I hope that the others will par participate and we're gonna organize a protest and demand uh, the politicians to reopen the borders uh, we hope that it will work we will try anyway yes if uh, because it's easy just not to do anything, yeah? Uh, we, we will do something, yeah? We will protest and we will try to change it. So right now I'm in the Mariinsky Park in Kiev. Over there we have a beautiful view on the left bank of Kiev, the Dnipro River. Uh, very much overgrown with the trees, so uh, the view is not perfect. Here we've got uh, Mariinsky Palace, this beautiful building. And over there is the Parliament of Ukraine. Yes, so I hope that one day, I hope soon, it will be possible for you to come here and we will have a walk together in this area or somewhere else. Um, stay safe, stay strong. Thank you so much for all your words of support. Uh, after I posted the previous video and special thanks to Max from the UK and to team from Spain for your donations guys that was amazing thank you thanks a lot yeah goodbye see you later